Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today with a haul of Nouveau. So, I'm going to share with you what happened, how it happened, and what we're going to do. Let me scoop that back. I have been talking to a friend of mine that I had never done the Gilding Flakes that I wanted to, that I thought I had bought some of these, but of course everything's in limo because we're in the process of moving. But, um, so, she graciously um, sent me some supplies. So, she won't let me say who she is, but I want to say thank you, 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 thank you. And I want to share, but the agreement is, is that I come back, whether it's a success or a fail, <laughs> and I come back and do it with you guys. So, um, this, I purposely ordered some things for summer, some things for fall. I really did save this for fall so I can kind of practice a little. So, anyways, it adds instant metallic foiled effect to every craft project. So, I thought this would be gorgeous for fall. But, um, and this color is, uh, 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 I mean, it's got to be copper. I mean, copper, oh, that's got to be copper. It doesn't, I don't see it on here. And it's probably here and I'm just missing it. But that's how this started. This like blue, big, big time. So I'd also been talking about that I wanted to try the Nouveau pens. I had tried the Nouveau fat stick thing. It blew up all over everything while we traveled. I don't know if it's because we were in the mountains or if it was just a Sioux, which is like a stupid user error. <laughs> so anyways, so this one is a medium flat tip. And I just am hoping it's a little bit more controllable and I can take it with me on my scrapbooking class. So I'm going to take that. And I've also got some of the glitter. So this is, hold on one second. This one is, it's funny they don't put the colors on here. Oh, no, it is. It's glitter champagne. I may have found where the colors are. Hold on. But don't you just love their design packaging? They're so smart. So this is glitter champagne. I thought that was beautiful. So let me see if I can see the color on here. This is sun-kissed copper. Yep. Okay. I'm figuring it out. Thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> and then I also picked up a um, another one. And this one is, hold on. Pure Sheen Glitter Mirror Ball. How <laughs> fun is that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's obnoxiously fun. Okay, so I also love, these are embellishment mousse. Um, I love embossing, um, uh, embossing paste and embossing colors. So this is more of a mousse, so it adds to metallic dimension details to your crafts. I want to play with these big time. So, I have several of these. Hold on, I've got... Moose Aquamarine. I've got, hold on, hold on, hold on. Moose Forest Green. I'm going to do it like that so you can see the colors better. And just excuse my hand. I've got Moose, ooh, Cornflower Blue. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. And it matches all of my Creative Memories mermaid paper that's coming. So there was a reason. <laughs> I also picked up, let me see, did I pick up anything else? Oh yeah, you know I had to have pink. So I also picked up a Moose Peony Pink. That's that paper set that I've ordered, so I cannot wait for that. Then I picked up some additional colors. So I got, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, a Pacific uh, Teal, which that still goes with the summer. I picked up, this is a more neutral, it's just Mother of Pearl, Moose Mother of Pearl. And then I've got a Moose Sea Spray Green. I know, aren't those beautiful? And then a Moose Pure Platinum. I wish you guys lived here and you could come over and I could share all this with you because it is just too much fun. I also picked up a Moose um, Burnished Bronze, which is, you know, still like that, <laughs> kind of in that theme. Um, since that is like, you know, sun-kissed copper, whatever it was. Um, Moose Triple Berry, so kind of a pinky fuchsia color. And last but not least, I picked up an Indian, Moose Indian Gold. So, I wanted kind of a iridescent, um, a copper, a gold. I didn't, I think they were out of the silver one. So, now, I also wanted to share that I picked up these little buckets. 
These buckets are $5. Hold on. I thought I saved the ticket, but I didn't. At Big Lots, $5. How easy peasy lemon squeezy is this? So here's how I'm loading so I can see all my colors, all the colors. I want to say they're our colors because it's for you guys as well. We'll, we'll share in some of this journey. Um, and then I'm going to put my big old thing like that. So hold on. And then I've got these two beautiful things that will go there. And then these little babies are just going to fit in at the end. All right, so let me move that over so you guys can keep looking while I'm chatting. And then... I have, and I'm sorry, that's why I took that stuff out of the bag, because it's so noisy. Um, I know they do this so that it'll, you know, not make a mess. This is another reason I had started chatting with her. So I had never tried the clear drying craft glue. That was another reason I wanted, that's why, that's how this all got started. And it was like, well, haven't you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, well, how, you know, this, haven't you... And I was like, no. And so, I mean, I have the drops, but I haven't done all this. So, thank you, thank you, my sweet friend. Um, she also was talking to me about some of these, like, glitters and stuff like that. So, hold on. This is the embossing powder, and this color is, hold on, um, Gold Enchantment. Isn't that pretty? And I was being told, have you tried? And I was like, no. So, um, yeah, this is amazing. And, um, yeah, that's all, that's all I'm going to say. And you can find these at scrapbook.com. You could probably find these in different craft stores. Um, I found these in specialty, like, stamp stores. Um, that's where I had first seen some of this. Um, and this is a sparkle dust. And it is in the color, sorry guys, silver sequin. But isn't that pretty? I mean, I it just, my brain starts exploding with different ideas of things to do with this. So, anyways, um, she was pretty specific on the things I needed to try. So, I was trying to be um, a, a good student. So, this is more embossing powder. And this is classic silver. Since I didn't get silver in these, I thought I would get it in the embossing powder. I'm hoping I'm in frame. Sorry, guys, if I'm not, I'll scooch this over a little bit more just in case to make sure you guys can see everything. Um, okay. And here's another glue. Um, can you tell that <laughs> I was being told, go try this, go try this. So here's another. This is a crystal, uh, this is a crystal glaze. This is not that. So, it adds clear, dimensional detail to your craft creations. So, yeah, that's what it is. And this one, it looks like it takes 24 hours to dry, with what I just read. Excuse the rattle, guys. Um, alrighty. So, I'm trying to stay with all like items. So, I think, yeah, this is the last, and then we go into the other. So... The other part of the discussion was some of my stuff had gotten really old and was probably, there's been a lot that hasn't been usable. So I think that's really where the heart of this was. So here is a little bit more of the sparkle. It's called Sparkle Dust and it is in gold shine. So I got the gold and the silver of the Sparkle Dust. So I'm going to put that like that so you guys can see all the colors. And then... I was encouraged. I'm just going to pull all this out because it just makes too much noise. Sorry. <laughs> it just, it drives me crazy. It's got to drive you guys old, really crazy. So, <laughs> I just want to be thoughtful. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Oh, let's get that out of here. Okay. All right. I know for somebody who's hard of hearing, it's funny the things that bother you. So, this was another thing. I was, we were talking about that a lot of my stuff would be it may be dried and dried up. So I picked up some of the crystal drops. And um, so anybody who's used Nouveau drops knows how amazing they are. This one is in crushed grape. This one is in, and they all come sealed in these little zip, uh, little plastic bags. Amazing packaging. This one is in, this one's silver lining. So there's more silver. I mean, I was really trying hard to kind of get certain colors. Um, just some basics. Um, yeah. And then here is, goodness gracious, 
It just says bottle green. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty. Um, kind of looks like a sagey green to me. I don't know. Is that a, is that an official word? Sagey? <laughs> okay. Here is, uh, Neptune turquoise. That's pretty, kind of a light blue. I thought that was pretty. And you know, I have to get pinks. So, sorry. I should have done this before for y'all so you wouldn't have to wait through it. But this one is bubblegum blush. So I'm really excited to come back with you guys and do a process video on how, on uh, and with projects. So, like, I'm going to be using one of the card kits from um, Tuesday morning, and I'm going to shush it up. So I love this one. I think this one is so pretty. This one is Antique Rose. Of course I would love that. That's so pretty. Um, but I wanted to show you that there's ways that you can shush up those inexpensive card kits. And, yeah, and it just makes it more fun. So this one has just got to be white. Yep, simply white. Love that. <laughs> That's very simple. <laughs> okay, and then this one looks like an iridescent white. So let's see, what is it called? Ooh, ivory seashell. Yeah, like that mother pearl inside oysters and, you know, it's so pretty. The colors. Um, when I grew up on the beach, there are lots of those kind of shells. And then here is a gorgeous pink. Um, this one is carnation pink. I love that. That's so pretty. And then we're almost through here, guys. It's almost over, I promise. Okay, here is a very glittery, glittery purple. It is purple rain. I love that. A lot of iridescent colors in it. And then we're down to two. This one is called pale gold. That's kind of pretty. It almost has like a greenish gold in there, doesn't it? But, you know, that's just what it looks like in the bottle. We'll know when we put it on paper. Ooh, and save the best for last. This one is so pretty. This one is called Honey Gold. Isn't that pretty? So, I tried to listen to my sweet friend and pick things that would be a, a variety of different, you know, adhesives, glitter, or are these, these are glitters. Yeah, these are glitters, and it says you can use them with your um, Nuvo glue pens. Um, I picked up two glue pens, um, and I really picked those up for, like, my scrapbooking, but now we'll use it with that. Um, I picked up Nuvo drops. I picked up Nuvo uh, it, uh, glue and a glossé or a glaze. Is it gloss? It may be glaze. I think it's glaze. And then some of this gorgeous mousse, all these different colors of mousse, and then some of these flakes. And I thought, oh, and embossing powder. So I thought, that's a really nice kind of start to the summer and um, start to new projects that are coming your way. So um, thank you again to my sweet, sweet friend who was encouraging me in doing this. And I really, really appreciate you. Um, I guess I've already said her or she, so um, you're amazing. Thank you. Um, all the glitter dust, all that good stuff. So you can tell what her favorite things are. So she was like, you have to do this, and you've got to share it with the channel, and you've got to, you know. And so I said, okay, because I'm I'm in a different place now. I'm, I'm ready to move forward and to um, find happy things to do with you guys and just to be encouraging what this channel is all about. So, all right, this is a scrapbooking um, dot com haul of Nuvo. It's all Nuvo. That was the agreement is if I was going to do this, um, I was given a gift card, plus I had a bunch of coupons, you know, main coupons. And, um, so I was able to kind of combine it and, um, I could only do Nuvo and that's all I did. I promise there's nothing else that came. So, and, um, I'll be back. We'll be having a great new video on this. So, all right, guys, I hope this color encourages you. It excites you. It creates um, that creative spirit in you to um, to create for other people, create for the Lord if you're doing journaling, you know, Bible journaling. Um, just be encouraged. And God gave us the colors of the rainbow for beauty, for, you know, to, to flat out encourage us, to make us happy. You know, there's joy. And the amazing thing is, think what a rainbow comes out. It comes out after the rainstorm. 
and it has to be a significant amount of rain in order for there to be the ability to produce a rain, uh, rainbow. So, to me, I always think, you know, of course, that's, we know if you study the Bible and the story of Noah's Ark, that was the promise that there would not be a worldwide flood again. So, this is amazing. This is what encourages me, and I hope it encourages you. All right, my dear sweet friends. Um, like, subscribe, share. If you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Tell Miss X, thank you very, very much for sharing um, with our channel these potential new projects. So I would really appreciate it if you just leave her a quick note and say thank you. Um, just a very sweet, generous, kind, encouraging person. So um, guys, I, I just can't tell you, you never know who you encourage in this life when you smile at someone at a grocery store or wave to a, a sheriff driving by on a country road or whatever it is. You just never know how much it encourages other people and uh, and how it fits in their day. They may be having a really bad day and then somebody does something like this and it just encourages you. So please leave that note for my dear sweet friend or our dear sweet friend and tell her thank you and, uh, and I just pray God's blessing on her for her incredible generosity. So that's all I'm going to say because I'm not going to get all mushy like you know I can. <clears throat> okay. Thanks so much for staying with me, guys. If you stayed till the end, thank you so much. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.